So as uh, the church started a little bit growing during uh, the time of communism, I was the very first one who was baptized, you know, after almost, you know, uh, 40 years of complete just kind of, you know, darkness there. And I had a desire to share the gospel, you know, around me, especially with my friends. And so, uh, of course, the church was tremendously helpful to us. And this is one of the ways, I don't know where the, where the thought originated, who came up with this, but it's a phenomenal idea. So what I'm holding in my hands is the Book of Mormon, and it's a Czech, uh, in a Czech language. Now you can notice the size from uh, traditional scriptures that we have that it's a little bit different. Now I want to tell you also about the color. The color of the book is the same color as the Communist Manifesto <laughs> and a handbook for uh, members of the Communist Party was like. It's the same color. Also, it's the same size. Wow. You could carry it, you could travel with it, you, can, you could even open it somewhere and read it without just being afraid that that would end up immediately, not only taking the scripture away from you, but you would be taken as well, you know, to be questioned and, and possibly put in a prison. So this was just one of the phenomenal ideas that uh, helped us tremendously, you know, with missionary work. Here I am holding now the triple combination that today's Czech saints, you know, use. And it's really interesting, and I open it, you know, it says that it was published in 2004. So it's uh, the Velvet Revolution happened in the Czech Republic in 1991. So we are talking about 13 years, still people, you know, members of the church used, even after the communism went down, they still had to use this. So it still took time, they had to be patient and exercise their faith to just kind of hold this. And I know how precious that was for me just to hold this for the first time.